For this project, I headed over to my local Home Depot and grabbed a water spigot that goes on the outside of your house. I want to make sure that the flow of the water goes straight down. That is key. The back of it and the rest is not so much important. Now, we're going to grab a two foot long, half inch acrylic pipe. We want to make sure it fits inside the spigot. Next, we're going to take a drill and we've got to drill about six to eight holes around the edges. It's very important when you're drilling these holes not to push too hard. Just let the drill do its work. Drill all the way around and about a half inch away from the top of the hose, but not too far away. Because once we get all the holes drilled, we want to make sure that it's going to fit inside the spigot. So the next step is we're going to grab some two-part epoxy. Just some inexpensive glue and you're going to dab this on maybe a piece of cardboard. Now the way the two-part works is it's equal two parts. So put a little bit of one part and then you're going to grab the other and put about an equal amount on there. It's not critical to be that exact. Take a little spoon or a little stir stick and stir it up. Only takes about 30 to 45 seconds of stirring. Then what you're going to do is put it on the end of the tube. Do not cover the holes. That's important. Just dab it on there. Just a little bit on the ends. It doesn't take much. And go ahead. Once you got it on there, go ahead and grab your spigot and stick it inside where the water comes out. You're going to need to hold this for about three to four minutes until it sets up. Once the glue dries, it's on there and it's solid. Now, the other end of the tube. That's going to have to have a little water fountain that goes on there. Now, the water fountain, make sure it has a good seal. Take some plumber's tape, wrap it around, peel it off, and then make sure it fits on the tube. If it's a little too loose, add some more. If it's too tight, take some off. We want to make sure that it's watertight so the water doesn't leak out when the pump is operating. Next, I grabbed a planter and put it up by the front door. I went with a little bit on the bigger side, but you can always go smaller. Put some bricks in the bottom because I don't want the pump on the very bottom of the planter. Next, I need to drill a hole on the side of the bucket where the plug can go through. Make sure it's just big enough for the plug. Next step is to go ahead and clean that up. Then before we put the fountain in, put it on a medium setting and go ahead and place it inside. Use two bricks to kind of snug it on there and then another two to hold it in place. Next, take the plug, Put it through the hole that we drilled, pull it all the way through, get rid of a lot of the slack. And the next step is we're going to grab some clear silicone. This is going to seal the hole so that no water can get out. Go ahead and just start putting it on there. It doesn't have to look too pretty because a lot of times you'll have some of the rock that you're going to put in later cover that hole. I went ahead and sprayed it with some black paint afterwards just so it'll blend in. Now put the rock in. Use some river rock if you can. And once you got it all in there, you're going to put some water in. I didn't want the water to be seen. I filled it up just enough so that it's underneath a rock. That's what's going to cause the magical effect. Now, once you got the water in and the rock spread, plug it in and there you go. You've got a floating fountain. It looks as if the spigot itself is being held up by its own water. Something magical and it's definitely going to be a conversation piece. We hope you enjoyed doing this project with us. And we can't wait to see you again on Home Talk. And I'll show you how we're going to turn this into something just beautiful. What I've already done is taken the clothespins and taken them apart. Just go ahead and pull the spring off. Very easy to do. Then what I did was I went ahead and stained them with my favorite color. Once that's done, you let the stain dry. What we're going to do is take our glue gun and start putting it all the way around the lid from your container. And the great thing about this hot glue is, of course, it dries quick. Don't skip. You're just going to keep going around and putting it on. Look at that right there. Just a dab of glue on that flat part right there. And once you put it up there, it's going to stay. Only thing you're going to be looking for is to make sure it's straight up and down. When I've made this project before, Used to, I would take a couple of clothespins, lay them out, and do like two or three at a time, but then I found that the glue would dry too quick, so I just do one at a time. This actually does not take very long at all. You can have this whole thing completed in probably about four to five minutes just going around. If you have a partner or kids or grandkids, this is something they would love to just sit around with you and watch you make. I love little projects like this because the whole thing is just going to cost a few bucks, and they make great gifts. 
love this. Especially when that hot glue sets up like that. So we'll make this our front right here. And here we go. Okay, so what I did was I took some floral foam that I also got at Dollar Tree along with some Spanish moss. Fill the container with the floral foam, cut it up. Go ahead and take some hot glue, set it inside there. Take the Spanish moss, fill in any empty places you can find. Cover all of the floral foam inside and we are ready to make this thing beautiful. Now I'm gonna take the greenery and just go ahead and start filling in all around our little barrel that we made. Just sticking it inside the foam, it's gonna hold up really nice. I like to have a little different color. I saw some of the purple at the store and I definitely wanted to grab some of that. As we're filling it in, you can do different heights. My big thing is not to overshadow the barrel at all. But as we're doing this, we're getting close to the end of our project. When we come back, you're gonna see what the end looks like and you are gonna be surprised. So stay tuned, here we go. And there it is, our final product. Go ahead and take the jute twine, wrap it around and just make it look beautiful. It's a great centerpiece. You can have it flat or you can place it on top of the candle stand. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching Home Talk. We'll see you again.